Oh, we're going. Oh, wow, cool. Um, oh, does my mic test, work? Test, test. Yeah, did you it. want levels or I don't see just, audio levels on mine. Doing it. We're good. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to this very special episode of the Safety Third Podcast. <laughs> Um, my Go microphone Kevin's is still broken. Wait, what? <laughs> the Wait, stand did, jiggles. Did that I, just happen, or did yeah? That, as soon as I picked it up, it's like the screw. He, he literally has nuts on his nuts got, right now. I've got you nuts know, in my pants. You know when you do the thing? I don't. Oh, where you no. take something apart and it's like a th- thousand little screws, and then you just sort of like put them somewhere <laughs> and hope that you don't lose them. That's what Kevin's doing right now. There's literally why? How are there so many There's parts? So many bits. There's like three washers and then some kind Wait, of. Let me like show the user. camera. I really so wish I that this, I could okay. say that this was a bit that we had planned to like happen right at the beginning, but it's truly, this is actually just what's happening right now. I, I even texted it's, my girlfriend to bring me Allen wrenches. <laughs> can, can, look, it's just, it's like, it's just little, it's just, there we go. Yeah, look, I had those that, organized look, little bits. Now they're not organized. Literally to hold the mic on, it's, it's this screw and Wait, this screw. That's how many parts it is. That looks like a dozen no, no. pieces. Look, it just, is. And there's two that's more. That's just to hold the... That Those seems like on. too many Here, pieces that you four need more. to just do that. Oh, there's four that. more. Dude, that is insane. Okay, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> I I just got here and I was sitting down. This is never going back together. And then, and then we were just like, oh, the camera's... <laughs> And then we were like, so so are, do we need to test audio levels? He was like, we're recording. Yeah. So we're our good. very special guest going. for today's so podcast just... is Daniel Thrasher. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, look at two minutes and 30 seconds. Just, That's like, pretty good. Or are we got, two minutes? It, it, this is like the, the equivalent of being thrown into the deep end of the pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I swear, guess. Motherfucker. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> yeah. All deep end. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We're here. Going deep with Daniel Thrasher. Yeah. yeah. Deep right. in Daniel Thrasher. Thrashing <laughs> deep in Daniel Thrasher. <laughs> Mom, don't want watch this we definitely talked about before last time we were doing remote podcast that you have a porn star name that was the first thing we talked about then and now it's the first thing we're talking about <laughs> was this like a, a i can't a, i love symmetry. was this like a facebook quiz symmetry? that you took or something so, what say again both of you at once oh wait no sorry okay. yeah that's a common that's the, oh, okay. we do that it's a lot of double, double talking team. at the same mm. time little yeah. eiffel tower mm, situation yeah. oh yeah it yeah, splits yeah. between left and right channel yeah it's like binaural beats yeah and <laughs> between yeah, two yeah it's scientists. really bad but for whatever reason people enjoy it between yeah. two uh, scientists I don't know if they, they tolerate it or maybe they don't even do that but so to give you the full experience yeah you're gonna have to hear from all of us at the same time and That's just good. you know answer yeah. on your own time there used to be a brain training game on the nintendo ds that i played that would that would that would say two words at once mm. so you can write them down I think it was called Brain Age or something. I used to love those games. But oh, that yeah. was one of the mini games in there is that it would say two words. And then if you get those right enough, then it goes to three words and four words. With headphones well. or just out of the speaker? Well, I mean, you choose your own adventure. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. Do you I remember how it. old your brain was? Um, Were you younger or older than I normal? Was, I think 18 is ideal. And I was 16 when I played it. Okay. Nice. You want you want to yeah. try it again right now? <laughs> Do you have a Nintendo DS? No, we're each going to yell a word at you. and you have to Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> like you're going to bring out so, his original childhood DS from the garbage pile. Yeah. So, how the hell did you... Where were you? So, you're from Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I want to do the thing where we say three words at the same time. Yeah, you're not getting out of this easy. Let's go. Let's, say Yanny. Right, okay, right, I'm going to do, do a countdown. countdown. I'll, well, when I, is it three, two, one, go? So, I'll do three, two, one, go. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh, right. You have to listen. Okay. Oh, wait, th- three different words at the same time? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Right. Let's go. But I, I'm not going to count down. Uh huh. Just going to do the fingers. Ready, guys? Okay. Yeah. Squirrel. This, by the way, this is exactly <laughs> what that's like. <laughs> I, got I got two. I, I got the two. I heard octopus. I heard either squirrel or skateboard over here. <laughs> I think it was a combination of both of your words that turned into either squirrel or skateboard. Mm, interesting. Where there was an S and there was a T. Yeah. Um, so I'd say squirrel and I'd say Tetris. It was it was danger. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. squirrel and octopus. Yeah. Wow, oh, you did pretty yeah. good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that's I actually for sure. You did wait, pretty good for an eighty year old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, that was kind of fun. I feel like that would be a fun thing for people listening too, because yeah. oh, they had the yeah. same experience. Right, try at home. All right, all right. I think okay. the mixing is really important. So, like, if 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 you record the podcast in stereo, then uh, they'd be able to do it. But if it's yeah. all in mono, like that's surround like, sound, you get like one an in center and yeah. two on the sides. There's some audio file at home right now with like a fifty thousand dollar sound setup. Who's like? What if it's like what if you just set the surround sound so we're constantly going in a circle around yeah, the room yeah. just like spinning? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's actually kind of amazing that you can pick up two words at the same time. Like it's, I, I feel like you're right. It might be more difficult if you're getting everything to one ear. Yeah, but like of getting two. Yeah. That's freaky that you can kind of like hear two words at the same time. Yeah, and you just like, hold them. I'm not even sure how your brain even does that. The brain is so cool. The fact that you could be <laughs> yeah, sitting the in, brain. A, in a cafeteria and just very like biased. <laughs> the very biased of you, brain, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Daniel's body. You could just be. You could just. See, my brain is so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but but imagine being in a, like a school, a high school cafeteria, and then like you know, there's freaking. 50 tables around you yeah. and you can just selectively go like yeah. I'm oh yeah listen to this one now yeah like that's insane yeah you know how much computing is that like to, you're to filtering where... out a specific person's voice yeah. to, to train on those words that's right. insane. Like, and it's like it's like when you're in a tesla and you and you push the the air conditioning unit it's like it's like yeah. your, your awareness is like these beams of like oh, yeah. Auditory <laughs> receptors yeah. like, that just like are going to a particular area so it is crazy yeah it's like mental tentacles yeah like extending out of your skull. mentacles like, i have to i have to <laughs> scream <laughs> like yours earlier today with the nuts uh never mind oh yeah <laughs> oh you just gave up yeah <laughs> i hope people can hear you <laughs> i think the wires i think they can hear me and they can also hear it. <laughs> that's oh, that's God, gonna be fun. that's gonna be really <laughs> for nice. the audio file yeah. back home. You, my, yeah. my Google Home can't even stop beeping at me when I say I have to say stop <laughs> okay Google stop <laughs> I'll never stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you could be in the cafeteria and listen to 40 conversations and pick out one. That like fun? that's, it's actually amazing. It really is. That, that's, it's such a, yeah, the brain, man. All right. We do word. Alan, you have to, you have to guess. Okay. It's my turn. All right, all right. Okay. All right. Potato. Screwdriver. Potato screwdriver. And I've, I'm no idea. Wow. I, I didn't pick up Daniels either. I thought I didn't either. I might've said it this way, but, but I, that's Owl? interesting. I know what I said. What? It, <laughs> Actually, I know what everybody said. Yeah. What did That's you say? That's weird. You've uh, it's it's a screwdriver potato bologna, but obviously bologna. I, I didn't hear bologna at all. At all. But I guess bo you know bologna. potato is very potato explosive. Bologna. Yeah. Bologna is all very silent. Screwdriver is very good because yeah. it's, it's a high sibilant. Lots word. of context. Yeah, yeah. It, like, it was like a trailed. Yeah. 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 I like these words about words. I don't. I don't know them, but I like what they sound like. Sibilant. Yeah, it's that's a good cool. word, isn't it? Yeah, sibilant. Okay, wait. Okay. All right, Kevin, yeah, you're your yeah, turn. You're ready? Okay. Right. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Sibilant. <laughs> and what the word I you just like learned. Shouted that one. <laughs> sibilant. Dude, I had I had yours, but I lost you, it. Yeah. You what? know why? Because because you can only carry seven plus or minus two things at a time in your mind. <laughs> and, so, and so once I started talking about oh. it, you lost it. What was it? Boxing. Boxing. Oh, no, I didn't oh. hear that at all. Oh. Dang. Okay. All right, your turn, okay. Will. I'll do it. But then just say the words and don't say anything for like 10 seconds. Oh, because okay. of the seven plus or minus Someone two. Someone else do the countdown. As got mentioned it, before. It. All right. Here you got I'm, I'm going to close my go. eyes. Okay. Wait, let me think of a word. You ready? No. <laughs> Okay. All right, ready? All right. You go up to four. Oh, okay. Skeleton. Tibia. I just got Kevin's tibia. Yeah. I did not. You guys just collided. Wait, how did how did we both do that? Wow. <laughs> oh, we have a fucking brain yeah. wave going did on. You did you do tibia too? Did you guys no, say the same? I said skeleton and he said tibia. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when the when the syllables like align like that, like yeah, skeleton, yeah, yeah. tibia, it makes it way harder. Yeah, I guess we were I both looking at the bones over there. <laughs> the S and skeleton and the T and tibia are like the same frequency too. Yeah. So like what, what was, Mine was a hot dog. <laughs> I did the worst. You didn't get any of them. No, I, oh, no, I got, I got you tibia. Well, yeah, you're yeah, a papa okay. now. Thank you. So you've got, <laughs> My brain's you've rotten. Got papa hearing. I was up till also like 1.30 in the morning doing construction. So. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That's pretty good. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Uh, bad. Oh, okay. What were you constructing? I was cutting pipe and screwing things and making decisions that I know are going to punish me in the future. Jesus. That's the manliest sentence I've ever heard. Wait, is that for like the, the house? Was it for a video? What was uh, the... Yeah, I was putting I was putting the, the drain waste vent in oh. and I was trying to make a decision because it's like, you know when you like you do a thing and then like you do something two, two steps later and you're like, I shouldn't mm. have done that previous thing yes. like that. Yeah. yeah. You can only keep like two things in your head exactly. at a time. Exactly. <laughs> it's hard to like the human brain is amazing until until you want to do something and then it sucks. <laughs> until you <laughs> 
That's a really good point. <laughs> so you try to like multitask. That's a really good point. You know, I heard that nobody can actually multitask. Like you always hear yeah. that like you can really only focus on one thing at a time. Hey, one second, like, it's yeah. like I heard that texting and driving. Hello? You just can't Who nobody is this? can't do it. Yes, it is. It's the sheet metal company. Oh. Hey. Okay. So are they are they giving a good quote now or what do you think? Well, are they're we... just they just want to take part in the multi word game. Oh, so maybe should we, we all say a word. Yeah. Shout, yeah, let's all shout a word at the company. metal okay, related. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Well, they I got, I got okay. Okay, ready? Got yeah. a word ready? All right, one, two, three. Galvanized. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> I feel like it's so rare that we actually can get someone to leave. That's on the that's floor. So that must have been bad. <laughs> that's good. I said metal just just for like. I said Spencer's, which is a proper noun. Oh mm. yeah, like the store. I don't know if that counts. Yeah. I think When's the last okay. time you've been to a Spencer's? Dude, mm. I don't even know that they're still alive. I don't are either. Still, are they still around? alive? Like the <laughs> stores? Yeah. Hot, I haven't hot been topic to a mall. killed them. Yeah. Oh, they, they do <laughs> kind of have them. a. I feel like they're the same store. Pretty pretty close. I think Spencer's is still alive in rural America. Oh, okay. the Rust Belt. Are they, they have to the, get their gags, from the gag their, their gift gags belt. and boners from somewhere, right? Yeah. That's it, man. But ever since uh, Amazon started selling sex toys, I mean, they put Spencer's out of business. <laughs> <laughs> I forget about Amazon. You know, there was like the other day I was in a Target mm. and they just have like fleshlights there. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw Target? that. Yeah. yeah, they're like tie dye too. The one, oh, the what? one I saw was a, it was a light blue color. A baby oh, no, blue. this one was like yeah. orange and blue swirled together. <laughs> It's like really, you know, artistic. That alien ussy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it's Avatussy. <laughs> some kind of okay. like Pokemon. <laughs> What's an orange and blue Pokemon? Yeah. All right. Well, did they guess did, the word? Did they guess that it was Avatussy? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was the first thing he said to me. He came back at the right <laughs> did, time. Did someone just say Avatussy? <laughs> I was like, yes. They yes, will. Did. did you see this? Ew. No. What happened? Rats, mice. There's mice in here. Yeah. Wait, it's, what? We officially have rats. Mice in this yep. Mm. Cool. More Something's coming here too. nibbling it up. You want to hear something cursed? Yeah. Yes. So I like go, we have some Halloween candy still. Um, and I go in I go into the kitchen to get a piece of candy, and I, there's like ants all over the counter, and there's like kind of a mess. I'm like, what is right. like what's going on? I look at the corner of the candy bag and it's like chewed off. I'm like, oh, oh god, a mouse oh. got into it. Because there was like cardboard, but there were milk duds. And so the milk dud cardboard got shredded by the mouse and kind of spread everywhere. Oh. The ants were eating it. Mm -hmm. um, so I went to the store and I bought uh, a trap, a live trap uh -huh. and an old fashioned snap trap. <laughs> I gave them a choice. Okay. So okay. far, I've caught two dead mice and no live mice. So I tried. Wow. You really can't build a better mouse trap. So huh? guess what I baited the snap traps with? Um, Cheetos and peanut milk butter. Milk duds. Oh! <laughs> you literally like, it yeah. worked before. They were eating the milk yep. duds and then they ate more milk duds. I'm surprised that they're not like allergic to, or like, like are, aren't a lot of mammals like they can't eat chocolate? Shouldn't mice die if they eat chocolate? Yeah, it's not, right. it's not real you chocolate. Just, <laughs> you just, look, you just save them from a, from a lifestyle of diabetes and disappointment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think you really, yeah. I think you really prevented type one the, the world's most dangerous <laughs> milk dud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's brilliant. So I just wow. bought some stuff that uh, you found. How did you find out from Styro? Uh, Styro Pyro told me about Called it. Called Fipronil? Yeah. So it's, it's like, like a, a, it's a non, a non-attracting, they call it. It's not a bait. It's like. Oh, yeah. It's like you put this, you make your own bait with it basically yeah. or it's just like really it's like chemical warfare you spread it over the ground yeah I mean, you can like but that's they eat it like it, yeah and they don't know it's there well this stuff is like oh. you're supposed to styropyro told me about it because he was having like yellow jacket problems so yeah. he said that you open Whoa. a can of tuna you put like one drop of this stuff in the can of tuna and it's like super selective so it's like only these like yellow jackets want to eat meat Right. Like right. Yeah. During yeah. the summer or something like that. So they yeah. eat it. They bring it back yeah. to the hive. And because it takes a few yeah. days to work, like the workers get it. The queen gets it. Yeah. The larvae get it. And then everything collapses. So it's like you get like like four dead hives and like 15 dead cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does it kill other animals too? No, it, I don't think no, it does. So it's, it's yeah. I was reading, it's extremely potent to insects Whoa. and way less potent to you. So it is toxic yeah. to to you and other animals, but it won't. Kill it won't do the same thing that it does to them. It's, so. it's the same huh. stuff that they put in flea and tick medication yeah. for dogs. Oh, but it's like the so bottles crazy. are like super concentrated. So I just got to think because the ant, I've actually never experienced an ant problem. It's like so here. bad. And there's these, the Argentine ants, these tiny little invasive oh, ants God. are so 
small that they will go. They literally, I don't know where they're coming from. They just like, go through like literally like anything. Like they just gaps between yeah, atoms. Like, so like exactly. a crack. They just like phase <laughs> yeah. through matter. Like if you have like a silicon bead, like so, and, and you have a crack in it, like they can oh, get through the God. crack. It's it's insane. Jeez. Yeah. And like it, the the coffee maker, you know, they have the water reservoir uh-huh. full of ants. Oh yeah, that's another weird thing oh, they do. Like I had a cooler, and yeah. they like they they have a colony floating in the water, in the cooler. What's that it's, about? Oh. I don't know, man. You like you, you can't stop them. If anybody has, knows how to kill a bunch of ants, and not the good figured, ant. I think we got. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Wow, you you got good. you got yeah. way too much nature around here. I know. We're trying yeah. to get rid of it, but you got to do scorched earth. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I think more humans should think that way. I yeah. think more humans should be like, let's <laughs> think- let's go to a place where there's a lot of nature and just. You think there's not do enough we- of that? You think that we we need more. Yeah. Deforest. The- I, I'm I'm actually here to make a call for deforestation. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I I really don't like trees. I yeah. yeah. Mr. Beast and Micro have done a lot of damage to my vision of the world. Yeah, I'm, we're I'm a here big to fan undo of, what of pavement, pavement maxing yes. the planet. <laughs> what if we could turn the trees into concrete? Yeah. What if? Yeah. yeah. What if? Yeah. What if you could turn trees into building material? That would, would that be work? So cool. Would you be yeah. able to like make like houses? Hear me out. Houses out yeah. of dead trees. Yeah, I yeah. like that. It's sort of like yeah. a monument to their death. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine trees living in a house made of dead humans? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm just saying. Yeah, Kind of, I mean, like a corpse. I think yeah. they maybe like uh, you plant a tree like over a grave. Bone meal, right? Isn't that how it works in oh, Minecraft? Oh yeah. Like so, it's kind of like kind of full circle. Totally. Have you guys heard of those like coffins that are essentially big pods where you put like a naked dead body inside, and then there's yeah. a seed and it turns uh, into a, a fully fleshed tree. I Fruit I, tree. I think I heard of that. Yeah, flesh tree. I, yeah, <laughs> I kind of like the idea. Also saw the target. <laughs> I like the idea of like being a tree. I, I think it'd be really funny to, because like once someone is planted in their tree, oh, he's it'd probably it up be really up hard there. to move. Oh, it looks them. like an egg. Oh, that's horrific. That's it. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Isn't that nice? That's so pretty. Is there? Is that on screen right now? Do you think we put that on screen, or we just let people guess? Yeah, 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 yeah cool. they, they see it. They kind of no, look like. That, um, I don't like it anymore. I thought like it was. Why does it look like? It looks like a moldy egg. Yeah. yeah, or like a big testicle outside of the scrotum. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but that's huge life, balls. buddy. That's what. It, that's what life is. You know, it's a womb. God. It's a new womb. It's a decomposition womb. <laughs> you know, you would want to be a tree, but could then, you make it like a fruit tree? If you read the Giving Tree, then you're you yeah, know, that's what, I want the be. best position to be in. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like some poisonous fruit tree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want to be poison ivy. <laughs> 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 What's that? Uh, the suicide plant that you guys mm. like? Oh poke yeah, away. You you be like one of those. Me. What's that? What is that? Um, like stinging nettles or what? It's yeah, like, it's supposedly so. <laughs> supposedly, I mean, you say. You'd... Yeah, yeah. So it's like a plant that grows in Australia. So like you know, it's bad automatically. Yeah, <laughs> and it's covered in these little tiny hairs, like like little glass needles, and they're filled yeah. with like I don't know. They break off inside of you, and they release this the chemical. It's like each little fiber is like a bee sting, almost. Or like it's like just bite. millions. There's, the leaves are they look fuzzy. God. It's like velvet. What and happens they, to your skin? It, it just kind of gets red and it starts like sweating and weeping. And then like despite the little needles are still in your skin. So yeah. every time you touch the area, you like <gasps> reaggravate it. Yeah, yeah, it reactivates them. It like pushes more stuff into you. So he, he grew one. He yeah. Grew one. Is that real? Yeah. yeah. Out of and a we, dead body. And killed yeah, someone. It, it was a squirrel. Of these it wasn't a it, human. Yeah. It was just, so it didn't grow that big. <laughs> squirrel corpse. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have it here? Uh, no. Mm. I, I, you, you <laughs> what if I did that? I was like, dude, you like, have to destroy this thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that's true. It was in Florida, yeah. So it, it probably would grow. Yeah, we no we touched it, and it was like it was one of the like I don't want to say horrible experiences, but like probably one of the worst plant experiences. <laughs> yeah. It was like even though it was like a super localized <laughs> spot <Specific> category. <laughs> well, I, it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> worst experience. Hey, we're, hey, we're if that means anything, I've had some pretty bad plant experiences <laughs> myself. <laughs> Wait, I, I want to hear about that. That's what I, I would want to be a weed plant and then have people smoke me Ooh. if I was one of those pods. That's, that's what very I want. Okay. That's yeah. very interesting. Very nice. I want to be responsible uh, for epiphanies. Can What's you bring Will's on? like little tray of, of bits Drill bits. I think it's out there in the shelf. Feels very ancestral. I, I want to fix this. You oh, need to drill smoke. A, well, it's not just a it's like has play a, like grown oh, from a, a, a dead an ancestor. Person, yeah. An ancestor. Oh, so it's like if I have like like grandkids or something. It's like please smoke that- Papa. <laughs> <laughs> please smoke the body of Papa. Okay, but like if if like 
if you had a grandparent that did this with a, would you actually smoke that? I feel like I'd be very hesitant to smoke that. What if it's good? As a grandpa, I'm excited. As Imagine a grand, the disrespect a of not smoking your grandpa. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> you jerk. Yeah, I, you I must. mean, yeah, if that's like, if that's the last that? wish. What do you call it? What do you call that strain? Oh, God. Um, uh, pandemonium. What, what if, pan, <laughs> panic what attack? Just, hazy pandemonium. It's just called grandma. <laughs> 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 I I once on Halloween in college uh, got home and I saw this like chocolate pie on the countertop. Oh no! And I was like, hell yeah, I love pie. Oh, <laughs> and no. So I was like, this shit looks good. I go up, I cut a little slice, a slice like that. And also, let me preface: when I opened the door and came home on Halloween. I looked and I saw my roommate asleep on the couch with three of his friends all asleep on the couch. <laughs> and there were there were slices of the pie taken out already. And I, yeah. <laughs> okay, and okay. I was like, I was like, oh, how much of the pie was he? Uh, oh, they're having a nap, like half of it. Oh, they're having a nap. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And Tasty I go over pie. and I was like, oh, a pie. And I uh, don't do those things. Yeah. I don't smoke. I don't, you know. And so I'm like, let me take a little slice. <laughs> this looks so good. And then I, and then I eat it, and then, and then. My roommate wakes up <laughs> and my roommate walks up to me and he goes, did you try some of that? And I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. I should have asked. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, why? And he goes, there was so much weed in there. I was like, what do you what? mean? What? So yeah. much weed there is. <laughs> or is. And I, and in I, your body. And I, like, <laughs> you know, and I very low tolerance, very panicky type person, all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, no. Like a horror movie, I'm like running around, and I and I open the door to the bathroom, and there's there's a girl in there throwing up chocolate pie. I was like, no. And so like for the next like hour or two, I was halluc I was hallucinating. Like I was walking. Yeah. Like when I was taking steps with my feet, there was like a glowing blue line underneath it, Dude. and it was just this. I was, was like gui Whoa. guiding you to a bridge. And then suddenly I was like, oh well, a blast from my shoulder. I was like doing an Elvis impersonation to, to my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> And, and like and then she immediately broke up with me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I no, it was a really rough uh, time. Dude. That was the only time I've ever like unknowingly been you know dosed with anything. And and the thing is, after that, like my roommate or friends of his would joke and be like, "Be like, careful, don't eat that burger. Like it's got weed in it." Oh, and and I'd be like, "I'm like, no, no. And I'd, I'd throw it down. And I'd be like, "Don't joke with me like God, that." It's like dude. a war veteran on Fourth of July. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It was, and I, I think I still have some remnants of like food PTSD from that. <laughs> were, you, were we talking about this the other day? Yep. Like the, yeah. the one thing, you know, like in prison, there's like a couple people that'll just get the crap beaten out of them, like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, like pedophiles and whatnot. Sure. There's like someone below that, and it's someone who messes with food. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Like it's like Probably. it's such a like I feel like messing with people's food is yeah. like a one way Universal. ticket to to like just get killed, like mm -hmm. actually just yeah, get killed. Yeah. Oh, yeah like people yeah. will jet like it's sort of no questions like do not mess with people's food. So that is like a pretty cursed instability wow. in your life oh, of not that, knowing. That's good. Well, that makes me feel less like a bitch. <laughs> I, I've never, <laughs> yeah. I've never been to prison, but I'm, yeah. I'm like you know there's. I, you I, know, I you know. You should go. Man. I'm just saying, if someone, if I was, if <laughs> don't knock it, if tried it, yeah, you get yard time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that. Make, have you heard this? You've heard this from like prison story. There's a lot of people on TikTok and YouTube like telling stories, mm. regaling like tales from prison. To be like, whatever you do, like if someone's in a fight, you don't look and like all this mm. stuff. You know, huh. is that something you've heard or you third party the fight? Maybe I, mean, I think it might be a combination of having heard things and also just like gut like, instinct. Yeah, exactly. Like, don't like imagine any scenario. Mm. Yeah. Imagine like messing with people's food yeah. like that. That's, and imagine yeah, no, it yeah. going anything other than horribly right. wrong. I I met a murderer once. Okay. And <laughs> his number one thing was you don't fuck with someone's food. Yeah. Is and this it, real? Th yeah. This was a guy. Who had killed somebody. Yeah. And he sort of said that, like, if you kill someone, there's almost always like a really good. He basically was like, if you kill someone, like, they look at you and they probably know why they're getting killed right now. Yeah. But mm. if you mess with someone's food, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I mean, like there's something about messing with food that's like a little unhinged. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was, it's no, a even, sacred act. It's, even like if you have the food in front of you, like I'm not yeah. a violent person, but I think did I, middle school, I was Dude. eating a hot dog and somebody knocked the food out of my hand yeah. and I just immediately like grabbed them by the throat. That's <laughs> like, so it, it was picked a, up the hot dog and just, and just shoved it. Like, it was an instinct. Oh I don't even know what God, happened, Kevin. but it was like, Dude, yeah, it's like a, an instinct. Like, don't mess with somebody's wild. food. I did. Yeah. It's Jesus. like it's like the the most baseline yeah. hierarchy of needs. It's like, like taking like, a bone from a dog, basically. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> we all have that dog in us, man. Don't take yeah. my bone away. I got from that me. dog in me. <laughs> yeah. What used to piss you guys off in in school? Um. Oh God. I. I mean. So I think there's probably something like wrong with my brain. Okay. <laughs> I really didn't like it when people were inaccurate. What do you mean? Like if someone was like giving like a presentation or a report <laughs> and they like said something that they were like confident. They were say, yeah, confident was the truth, hmm. but it was like something that I knew was not. Oh yeah. yeah. Um I it was like I think it was like first or second grade and or maybe it was like it was like just after kindergarten. I remember passionately this little girl we were doing like a, a book show and tell, and she was describing the plot to an Arthur book mm -hmm. <laughs> incorrectly. I remember, Res like, I knew. Wait, the hold on, Arthur the Aardvark. Arthur the Aardvark. She was okay. she was presenting like her little like show and tell of like what happened in the book, and she was wrong because mm -hmm. I knew I had read the book, I'd seen the TV show, and I knew that story. I don't mm -hmm. remember which one now, but I remember. Very explicitly, she was telling it wrong. Mm. And I was furious with her. Was this uh, out loud? Was it during the presentation? After? I, it, did I, you beat her up after class? No, no, no. I think I think what happened was <laughs> I tried... It was, if it was Beast Wars, you would have. It, it, I would have. No, I just... I tried to tell on her, and the teacher just didn't give a shit. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you think they're paid enough for that? <laughs> but, the, but that was... She was doing the assignment wrong. She yeah, Alan, Alan, be like yeah. this. <laughs> yes, yes. I think no. You know what? I'm starting to. The more I think about it, the more I think I'm remembering. It was like the 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 episode, the story where like D W thinks she's like hot shit because she thinks she can be a really good babysitter, and then oh, she remember. she tries to take care of Kate the baby, and she's bad at Baby's it. Baby's name is. You remember Kate? the name I of think the so. wow? Yeah. Baby? No, I'm telling. It's coming back to me right now. Kate. I Kate. think the baby's name is Kate. Okay. And so DW Kate, Kate. finds out in her hubris that she actually doesn't know shit about taking care of a baby. But the girl, when she presented her, like, the story, shit everywhere. You know, she presented the story as if DW was taking care of Kate really well. Uh, and, and Arthur was being the bad guy. Yeah. And that's literally the opposite of what happened. Okay. I remember DW. I could not stand it. I don't. What was the white guy? The, you, the white animal. Animals. The rabbit? Oh, the, the oh, rabbit. Buster. The rabbit. I didn't even know what kind of animal he was. I don't know why I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Buster, Arthur, there's Binky, there was... Um, Is this sort of like everyone's first Francine. experience with furries? <laughs> Well, it's his. Um, no, no, mine was. <laughs> there was. Although there was this really weird thing where um, brain, the brain, the brain, for yes, whatever yes, reason, yes. he was explicitly black because in one of the holiday specials, his family celebrates Kwanzaa. <laughs> Oh my Wait, god. What? Kwanzaa? Brain Wait, was black. Pinky in the brain? No, no, no. Brain. <laughs> brain the animal on, on what was he like a hamster or something? Dude, Wrong I don't network. remember that. Wrong the network. brain. The brain. It, from Arthur? Yeah, yeah, yeah from he was Arthur. like a bully, right? Like no, a... no, he was the smart kid. Oh, I thought he was a bully. I How was see, this is the I'm this is trauma. This I, is, I you guys hated are telling Arthur, Arthur wrong. You guys I hated are telling Arthur. Arthur wrong. Arthur right was now. a was an F tier cartoon. What? Get the fuck out of here. My, my fucking hand is gonna. Go I'm not a violent person, now. but one time my mom put Arthur on. I just went straight for the neck. <laughs> you, have, you have a picture of Brain? Is it Brian or Brian? It's Brain. <laughs> Alan Powers, aka the Brain, is black. His family celebrates Kwanzaa. Hey, that looks just like Arthur. <laughs> well, he's he's a similar mammal. He's, like, he's not an art park, though. <laughs> they didn't have a high budget back then. <laughs> <laughs> no, they had like six colors. They could yeah, they use. would just trace over each other. And so it, that I just remember DW's like DW's Arthur in drag. No, no. <laughs> oh, I hate this? that I okay. brought this up. This oh. is this oh, it's is, not gonna especially stop. Senegalese. Oh, wait, his, wait, his he's from the is that, African. Is oh. that the island where? No, that's Sentinel. Senegal. Senegalese. Are those the isle? No, I could not tell you where that is. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not even gonna pretend like I, I could point the, out Senegal on a map. I could not. Yeah, that's the huh. brain. I also wouldn't have think, thought it was Senegalese. Senegal. Shout out to the viewers Mr. and listeners Rapper. from Senegal. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> if if any of you yeah, are North from Korea. there, um, please tell us where you are on on in the world because I don't I don't know where that <laughs> and is. And if you sw- celebrate Kwanzaa, yeah. If- <laughs> <laughs> Founded by Doctor Kwanzaa M- Milano Kohanga Co- Co- Boulevard. Really? Wow, really? I would have just Bula- gone with Jonathan Kwanzaa, but <laughs> is it actually? I think it was I think it was created in like 1970s. It's a new one, Kwanzaa. yeah. It's like really, a yeah. Kwanzaa, oh, Kwanzaa's new. new. I made a sketch That's... about it a long time ago, and I do Transformers have sex? <laughs> Let's write this out. How are how, where do Transformers come from? I think it would be a lot like some of the um, Rule 34 of cars that I've seen. You know, cars, getting the Pixar, yeah. yeah. Well, it's mm, more like that's funny. Mm, just that's or mean. dinosaurs, each other, it's, I, like Doc Hudson and, yeah. and Doc McQueen. Uh, yeah, there's a big, there's a big. Uh, so you said, what did you just say, Doc McQueen? <laughs> Doc, Doc McQueen. I drove, the, Doc I drove McQueen. the wrong way to get here, dude. I'm, I'm fried today. I feel like I had some of that chocolate pie. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> so in the, in the Transformers movie, right? They yeah. like they do something to like a Mountain Dew vending machine that turns into Transformer. <laughs> yeah, because they had the All Spark. Um, wait, I, I the, the, the can's a little different in the Michael Bay universe. Um, I believe it was the All Spark, and it could give life to inanimate objects. But okay. for whatever reason, they were all kind of evil when it happened. Okay. In that movie. So then, how would something be brothers? Uh, well, I, I'm not sure if like, I think, I think maybe they were made by like another alien race. Someone in the comments is going to be so mad about this, but I think, I think that everybody, is, everybody's right and wrong though with this kind of stuff. Everything yeah. just gets like retcon. I think they were made by some higher alien race and they must've been made at like the same time or something or like, okay. I, I think it was literally just a throwaway line that Michael Bay thought sounded badass. So, when at the end he's like, right. sorry, I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> mm. Oh no, no. Everybody thinks that they're actually like brothers. Well, because then they did do like a comic series, I think based on the movie where they explore that more that they're so they, actually, so brothers. we could pretty safely conclude that. Well, he had to walk himself out of that hole is why. So he had <laughs> to double down. Either that or that transformer was a big fan of like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh I'm yeah, sorry, brother. Brother. <laughs> brother. Do I know they, they learned English from Xbox Live, right? eBay, eBay? or Both. yeah, in the movie, yeah, that's kind of well. They never explain in the cartoons. I don't think how they knew English. Are there female Transformers? There, there are. are yeah. Do they, do they have? Yeah, like, like Do they have boobs? They kind of do. Oh, maybe they're, they're like, like a three D printer inside of them. Boobs. Are they like to look? Is that like what they look like, or is that so that they can look like be all boats. more human? I, yeah. What? <laughs> They're buoyant. <laughs> like it's just like a, yeah, exactly. Mm. Like is it what is what is I the what do they do? Th- I think in the newer iterations of Transformers, it is like a self. Everything everything a male expression. transformer can do well, that's what the women transformers can do. Yeah, it's like I think because there's not really a gender for transformers. I'm trying. What I'm trying. You know what I'm getting at? Do they have sex? You no. want to know Alan, if they fuck no. if the transformers? Yeah, fuck. like because I feel like they don't. It no, doesn't make any they can't. sense. I feel like you have then, skin in the game here. Yeah. Do they? I, just, I, 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 saw, I saw a cartoon on Newgrounds. Do they, fuck or, not? Do they saw, fuck or not? I saw a cartoon on Newgrounds a long time ago. <laughs> oh, long no. Time. And I've had confused is voters the, ever since. Is it the, the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny? But I the, don't remember. But the ultimate orgy of Ultimate Destiny? <laughs> oh, my God. I have not thought about that for at least a decade. You just... Wow. That's a core memory. I don't even, I don't even think it was like... I don't Holy think it was shit. that inappropriate. Because it, it was scrub. Like McGruff took a bite out of crime. I don't like think they optimate, have sex. Wait. I would what guess that they don't do? have sex. I think they can love each other, but I don't think... Yeah, I think Transformers don't um, fornicate because that's not how they would... Re- so they sort of just like all brothers guess. and sisters? I think they build others. No, no, no. I think no. they make their children. Yeah, like, like a kit, kind of like they put them together. Yeah. Like a three D like, printer. It's like, it's like a, honey, a Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> the vehicle uh, reveal party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it gonna be a Mustang? A Reliant Robin. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, what about that sandwich commercial you were in? Right? Was it? Oh, the commercial? Jimmy John's. Yeah, commercial? I want to talk about that, Is dude. I was supposed aired? to. Be you did a, a commercial. I was cut supposed out of to be in a. Well, I could talk about this. I think. Oh. But I, I, I was in a. I was in a Jimmy John's commercial years ago that was directed by Craig Gillespie, like the director of I Tanya. And like at the time, the mighty like, we like won an Oscar uh, and uh, I got edited out of the thing. But at the time I was, I was already like well-known on the internet yeah. and the clients were like, 
Oh, cool. A guy who is an actor mm. who happens to have a big following. That's great. They never use my face. Wow. They only use my kneecaps when I was delivering an order running down the stairs. And then I was still paid like $40,000 over what? the years. What? And they didn't use it. They didn't use my face. So that's all knee royalties. Yeah, noyalties, yeah. <laughs> it was it was there's an industry term for it actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it's but a, would they a, have paid you more if they put your face in it? No, because well, I guess technically I was in the background. Basically, if you're in the union and you are even remotely recognizable in a commercial at all, um you're owed royalties every mm. every single time that commercial wow. airs would you have a you know is it online is it like on youtube yeah it's probably on like i well no i don't know if i'm in it it might be on ispot.tv or something i used to be in a lot of commercials um how could not a lot but i was could, in a few is it possible to find it maybe let's see i want to see yeah if you look up is. my name I on there spot.tv yeah in that search bar yeah just type my name in daniel thrasher and then yeah wait let's see if we can that see is your so knees. crazy they they put your knees in it and you still got. Paid. Oh, there's a couple uh, of results. Oh yeah, but none of these are it. Oh, oh. Yeah. so you actually none appear these in these it. then. Yeah. So, so oh, are you lame. owed royalties for your spot in the Six Flags commercial? What? Wait, no, who, was, who was who was your? I was never in or, a Six no, Flags anybody's commercial. Union. That, was yeah. that was you. That was you. Um, no, because we they <laughs> we were extras. I just knew that you lived by Six Flags. Not right. I used to be a janitor there. Oh. I never appeared in their commercial. <laughs> Did you actually? Yeah, that was my first job. Have we talked about that? Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe yeah, I think so. I this is like the most ADD pizza. episode we've ever. Oh done. yeah, yeah. It was. It was. I uh, people would waste food all the time, yeah, and I got so upset that one time, um, a family. It was like two people left a whole family size pizza untouched, untouched, and it's like a forty dollar pizza right. at the time. Now it's probably even more in the park. It was a forty dollar pizza. Yeah, it's just a normal pizza. They just they didn't touch it. No medical emergency or anything. I mean, they seemed fine. They talked and then got up and left and the whole time I'm like side eyeing them like brushing dirt into my little the the, the scooper thing you know oh that, yeah like, upturns it was a and drug then, deal <clears throat> maybe <laughs> was i hope the pizza was waste no. yeah but so then i i took the pizza i walked over to the dumpster like i was gonna throw it out but yeah. then instead i crouched behind the dumpster and i <laughs> ate the pizza that was my lunch wow, I ate all right pizza, you got paid and pizza. free pizza yeah I mean, a forty dollars pizza at the time. I was being paid, I think, about seven dollars an hour. It's like a day's worth of pizza for it's you. It's literally. It's like a slice a, of pizza almost per hour. An entire day's work worth of pizza. Yeah, I ate the whole thing. Probably know, it is after taxes. <laughs> we've talked. Did we? Have, did we talk about your jobs last time? I know we've talked about it a little bit in what? real life. In what way? Your first jobs. You have an interesting kind of set of first jobs. I got a weird. Life. You got like that kind of classic. Like, I've never heard them. Hollywood. You know, show up with a, you get a good kind of crappy job and then then work make, my way up to yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, I used to work at my first job ever, I worked at a go-kart track. That's great. Yeah. So I was I was a go-kart guy and I was very That's cool. I was drunk with power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I, what kind I, of go-karts? You'd it be like, like the, a king to all the kids like <laughs> Bro, it was like it was like no bumping, no park. swerving, no reckless driving. Yeah. Whoa. Um, yes. gas powered okay. about twenty miles an hour. And um, and my job was to like to run and fix the wrecks and push them uphill and then yeah, like, and then, the and then kids, get them back yeah. and, and then if anybody breaks the rules you get one sharpie mark on your on your wristband if you get oh, a second no. roll I'll take the mm. wrist I didn't have to do this but I would take the wristband and yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> rip it off <laughs> man. wow I would rip that off and I'd be like get out of my track <laughs> one time we had a baseball player like a famous like yeah. major league baseball player I think for the Baltimore Orioles or something and his son like rented out the track it was like his first fourteenth birthday party and I was. And his son drove like an asshole. Let me be clear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know and who like, you yeah, are. I didn't you know even, who you I are. I didn't even give him a warning. I just like ripped it off like after his first ride. I didn't know it was really? his kid what did he or do? whatever. He was being a dick. He like drove. He's smashing he into drove, people. He would like turn around and drive backwards uh, against traffic. Oh, and like, and like, no. and I've seen kids yeah. like go to the hospital for like a head on click because it's like 40 miles an hour, like hundreds of pounds. How many kids and, died? <laughs> Nobody yet, but that one kid in particular, I don't know. I broke my foot working that thing. Like, yeah, did I hit did you? you run over? No, uh, a, a, a go kart kind of slammed into the side railing, which is a really thin, like sheet metal that, uh, that like lifted up on top of the bumper. And so I went to go fix it. So we put in the jack and, and like pushed oh, no. the go kart. And, just and as I'm kicking the go kart away, uh, the metal slammed down on my left big toe and it, well, it oh, broke. Oh, oh, oh. And so I went to college. My first like six weeks at college was in a boot. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. And uh, but that was my first job. And then I also, when I was in college, I worked as a balloon artist for a few years. 
Yeah, no it's, way. It's, that's at cool. a Chili's. How do you? I have a question. At a Chili's. How do you get a job as a balloon artist? <laughs> it was called balloon distractions. Did they and train I, you? Yeah. So you didn't. You didn't have any idea how to do balloons. I had no idea. Well, I went to an art high school, so okay. I went to a musical theater school, and and there were a few friends of mine who had worked this balloon job. And the thesis is that you show up uh, after the waiter has taken the order, but before the food arrives, there's all this time to kill and parents hate their kids. And so why don't you come and shut them up <laughs> and like, yeah. and be like, Hey, what's up? My name is Daniel. I make, I make, uh, you know, I come here every Tuesday. I make turkeys. Uh, no, I make, I make dogs, monkeys, Worms, frogs. Snakes. I make <laughs> lizards with no legs. <laughs> I make, I can make like a, I can make a fire breathing dragon. I can make a princess crown. Wow. I can make an Eiffel tower. If you want, I can make a superhero. I can make, you know, and they're like, oh, oh. <laughs> but the trick is like when you show up, you just you just start listing all the things you can make and you don't you don't let them think about it. Yeah. And then okay. and then they go, uh, and then they see this giant button on my chest that says we twist for tips. And then it's pinned to a five dollar bill as like a suggested tip. You could walk out of there, it's four hour yeah. shifts. I'd yeah. walk out of there with like 150 bucks. Dude, Yo, that's, that's wow. nice. I should what? have been doing that. Yeah. That's awesome. Was, I should was, be doing that right now. Yeah. You gotta be a performer to do that though. Like, when I worked at the Thai restaurant, I worked like six hours and get like eight dollars in tips is what they'd give me. <laughs> I think they were jipping me. You weren't they making balloon You were a bus. No, I was I, I was not doing a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, they made me clean the toilet too. Is that a busboy's job? I don't really know. <laughs> they yeah, weren't gonna make me. They were gonna You've got to do whatever they you're tell you. You're responsible for the food beginning to end. Any food you bring <laughs> out, you're responsible yeah. wherever it ends up. I had to up. cook the food too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to, the owner made me kiss him. <laughs> you also spoke <laughs> like the perfect Chinese. Mouth. <laughs> yeah, that sounds yeah. like a good deal. No, <laughs> well, yeah. And they tried. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> They try to always hook me up with their uh, the Thai girls. Oh working God, there. yeah. They're like, "Do you like her?" I don't know. And I'm like, I, "What do you mean?" They're like, "You like her, like her?" And I'm like, "I don't like this conversation." <laughs> I went to okay. I went to oh, I Jesus went to Christ, Salt Lake so City uh, for a thing. I was there for like four days. Yeah. And and when I was when I was walking around, like I I have never felt so famous in my entire life. Really? Utah was like the episode. Yeah. Shout out to everybody in Utah, dude. I've probably met you in my time you there. You know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, I was like in a drive through for, I think, In N Out in Utah, which yeah. is weird because huh. I don't. Are they in Utah? I, yeah, I, I think they so. Must okay. be not yeah, that yeah, I said yeah. it. But I feel like I was in a drive through for In N Out and like, and like the guy was like, hey, welcome to the. And just like jaw dropped. <laughs> and I was like, really? <laughs> like in Utah? But it was like a ton of people. Anyway, but uh, that aside. Uh, another fun fact about uh, Mormons that I picked up on Reddit threads, so it must be true. Yes. <laughs> is that never, ever challenge a Mormon to a game of basketball. Why is really? that? Have you heard this? No. no. I haven't heard My, this. What I've heard is that like, in the back of their church, the like back. every Mormon church is like, yeah. it, it's like all they do is play Best really, they, like they in the have, parking lot, they can't do drugs and alcohol, so they have to pick. Like yeah. you will get like or coffee, like like they will just dunk on you. It's their vice, literally. literally. Yeah. So, if you, so you. if you ever have like two like uh, don't, elders yeah. Yeah. approach you, <laughs> and, don't like take them metal up on it. Ever, They're hustling and challenge you to a game of basketball. <laughs> yeah, I will do literally anything yeah. other than uh, listen to your I, story. I counter challenge you to an all you can drink coffee contest. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah, they they walk in. They're like. They're like, if we Dude. win, if we win this game of basketball, you, you gotta convert. You have to convert <laughs> right now. It's like the ultimate hustle. It's like it's like in Fresh Prince of Bel Air where Uncle Phil pulls out Lucille. <laughs> the, like, yeah, maybe that's a deep cut for. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, yeah. But I mean, that was. I gotta did, love that did show. anybody ever offer you a uh, post death baptism? No, that's cool. I'm down what? for that. So that's though. that's cool. a nut. Wow. So, so also in Mormonism, uh, I think if I remember correctly, the belief is that when you die. Your spirit kind of lingers for a little bit. It's not like a full on. It's not, yeah, it's not like a force ghost. It's not, okay. but it's like a little thing is still kind of there. Okay. And so they specifically Scroll of gaseous form. Yeah, yeah they <laughs> believe that you can be in while you're in spirit form, like shortly after your death, you are still baptizable. So uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, a really nice Mormon guy once offered that for me because we had a really long chat on like a long drive. And he was like, did he have a knife <clears throat> in his hand? No, no. <laughs> basketball. He's like, can I baptize you when you die? Yeah, he, <laughs> a knife in one hand and a little cup of water in the other yeah. hand. Yeah. Basketball in the a, other. He was a trucker. Yeah. And I, you, you can imagine the irony of a trucker who can't use caffeine. It was really it got dicey at some point. Oh, my God. God. He, can they do meth? <clears throat> sure. 
Is that Why fine? Not? Yeah. It's in there. It's in yeah, the rules. Yeah, they didn't have meth back back when the no guy caffeine. looked at the hat or whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's but, as far as I'm going into so that one. Like, like he was really nice and he said, Oh, and just just you know, like if you want, like, you know, if if, if you die, whenever you die, like that we are still able to, you know, baptize you so you can go to heaven. And that can be, that doesn't have to be now, like no pressure. Like it was like a, like, like a, you don't can die now. It, well, it was more like a, like a, like, like, oh. don't worry. Like this is, you don't have to be rushed by like on your deathbed. You know, you have to like convert. You're telling you, have, you, you can, that you're going be, to hell. No, you can be said. chill about it. Yeah. You can die. Yeah. And then think about it. And then they oh. can baptize you after you're dead. Do they do it in the afterlife Wait. or do they touch your physical body? I think someone here has to do it. So I'm not actually sure how you'd let them know that you'd like to be baptized after you're dead. But it, like, it's like one of those diabetes do. bracelets. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> must <laughs> like, do not resuscitate or like whatever. Yeah, it must be baptized within 24 hours. <laughs> yes, I, I'm not sure how that part works. It's like the Mormon hotline phone number. This so reminds you, me of like some guys rappel down from a from a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> For post death. It's baptism. a fire. It's like a fire helicopter. It's got like. So it's kind of like World of Warcraft, yeah. where you where you die, and then and then you're the little ghost version yeah. of yourself yeah. near your body, and you're just waiting for them to like respawn. Yeah, you and, then, or like, and they can send you to heaven. There's a counter. Yeah. yeah. Except yeah. the mic's muted and you can't talk and you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm not actually. I didn't really think that. I'm not. I don't know how that part works. I don't know if they have a way of just knowing. I'd assume that they would just think that everyone wanted that after they died. Do they just like do they have a separate tank of water? Or do they use the same one they use for like live people? Oh, because I'm not sure I would be okay being baptized. I, I think they use a squirt. You think it's like, like a virtual? <laughs> it's a sucker. virtual baptizing. It's there. like you know when Egyptians like the mummies died, they would put coins or something over yeah. their eyes, oh, so, right, so right. they could pay their way to the afterlife. Yeah. Wow. Wait, eyes, was so. that the Egyptians or was that the Greeks? Oh, I, I don't know. know. There's some guy. I think it's a couple of them. <laughs> Whoever we're offending Oops. has been dead for thousands of years. I think it's I think it's a couple of them. Oh yeah, no, they they put like little trinkets and doodads in the Egyptians, like in their. Uh, their tomb so they can play with them Shrinkets in the and doodads yeah. I'm, put, I'm gonna put that in my Gadgets will. and gizmos just, Every pharaoh <laughs> listening to this is very offended that Oh my god I just got They're, they're screaming at us right here They're Shrinkets screaming at us <laughs> They're waiting for a Mormon baptism and their fucking yeah. horse yeah. ghosts Dude. are screeching right now I die and there's a bunch of pharaohs standing around like <laughs> You're like Would you like to play a game of Yu-Gi-Oh Kevin? <laughs> god I wish Yu-Gi-Oh was real That'd be so cool But then there'd be a shadow realm no, it's better than that. Shadow Realm was just in the dub, and the real Jap in the original Japanese people just died. They I told, just died. Did I say this on the podcast that the Japanese version you of it, a, the weirdly, little girl says shit and it's awesome? Yeah, you have a weirdly like like large knowledge of original Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Lore. I was not expecting that. She like, literally says source material. She says lore. she says God damn it, I think. <laughs> yeah, wow. the, the American. The American yeah, the, the, the white lady. the little white blonde girl yeah. says like shit and god damn it. And I, I remember like pausing it. Wait, I'm like, did I like, just like stroke out? Like, did what? they say that on TV? No, not, okay. not in the English version. The dub version's for kids. The Japanese one has this little girl swearing. Oh, oh yeah, the oh. levels of swears oh, are a little different. In so Japanese. she's sw she's she's saying the English swear words in the Japanese version. Yes, yeah, so yeah, she yeah, says, but it's like English. she says it she's a Japanese voice actor speaking English. So it's still Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I always love seeing like how how other nations represent Americans. Like I I <laughs> I know people get mad at stuff like that here, but I think it's awesome. Like <laughs> yeah. the, the American guy in, in like yeah. anime or something. Yeah, just I, always like he's always got an American yeah. flag on, like yeah. a beard, like, drives a bus. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. Bleach blonde exactly. hair, like, Hello. Everybody else is using magic. He just has a giant gun. Yes. I was it, thinking about that as we should be represented. Yes. <laughs> Three guns. Yeah. The Trader Joe's they used to they would kind of theme different foods like uh, like they had like a Pacifico kind of that they called Trader Jose's I think oh okay um, and I think they stopped doing that people got mad at them but I was thinking right. like if we went if you went to another country and you saw like an American themed version of something like that Trader like, John I don't, yeah, yeah I don't know I think that's kind yeah. of fun like, yeah I think one of the most fascinating things for me is there's one particular season of Gundam where uh, what is it it's it's uh, I think it's Oh, I, I, I'm blanking on it, but it's it's one of the seasons of Gundam where it's the future and war has been solved. There's no okay. more war. Love that. Because what they do is every few years they hold a tournament where every country gets to submit a Gundam robot, a large humanoid robot, and they just fight it out. And whoever wins gets to control everything for the next mm, few years. So there's cool. no more war. Hmm, they okay. just do that. And so... Each of the Gundam's designs for the different countries, if it was an American show, you would say it was the most racist thing you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> yes, cool. Yes, cool. Yes, yes, oh, yes. really? Um, <laughs> Dude, this makes me want to watch it. <laughs> it. It was, it was, I mean, I I remember like 
parts of it being cool. I don't remember. It was, it kind of feels like a fever dream. So it's like I, an American caricature. Well, there was, they had an American one. They had like a Chinese one. Yeah. They had a Mexican one. They, yeah. Can you look up the name of it? I'm blanking on it. Like, a, um, like an Indian one. Can, it was can like, you look God Gundam? Can you look up God? God? Oh no. Yeah. There, there, there. Yeah. Look. So that's the Mexican Gundam. Can you make it really big so we can see like all of the things that make it Mexican? <laughs> so you see it's right a cactus. It's right shoulder. arm is a cactus. <laughs> Wait. It's 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 got like a sombrero, but it's a Gundam still, so it's got like the Gundam antenna. It's like a Mexican oh samurai. God. That's sick. What's the Zeus Its name gun? is Tequila the Gundam also. <laughs> yeah, they, all have, they all have names. <laughs> or what the Gundams are. Oh and so God. there's Tequila Gundam, but that's Mexico's Gundam representative in, in the world, Dude, not war. It's awesome. What, it's what huge. This? Gundam God? What's it called? So the God Gundam is the Japan Gundam because, I mean, it's, you know. They can't. They're, they're, yeah, the, they're the protagonists. They have the best one. They have the God Gundam and it's fighting the Tequila Wait, I didn't Gundam. even know this existed. Wait, it has little cactus summaries odd. too. Like I'm pretty sure this ran on like Adult Swim. Wait, I've I've like looked up and tried to also the Gundam naming scheme is a disaster. Like I can't oh, tell all the different yeah yeah. yeah. No, this is great. Yeah, so I mean they've got. Um, but what's the American one look like? Oh, uh, do we have see what, Yeah, let's see what comes Skill up. Skill Gundam. Oh, I think it was G Gundam. So try, try it like G Gundam <laughs> American. Wait, does it look? Is that actually with a Crusader? No, no. Shield and a gun. Uh, oh, that's boring. That sucks. But uh, that's the American one. It looks one. like Optimus Prime. Gundam Prime Maxter. Maxter? Yeah, yeah, so it's just got big shoulders. It's red, white, and blue. Does it have nipples? Yeah, why does that one have nipples? Uh, oh, Jesus. wait, why is... what? Where is that one from? Because Texas can't be its own country, right? Can you see where the revolver you know, goes? Maybe in the oh, future. Oh, maybe it can. <laughs> it's got like revolver brass knuckles. Where is this one from? <laughs> that's something I drew last <laughs> oh, night. Uh, hey, it's yeah. Steven Universe the Gundam. Neo America. Oh, oh! It's the successor to, successor to Gundam Maxter. So this is the next one, and that was much more American. He literally, the it's what do you call the the the, the revolving chamber? Oh, the, oh yeah, yeah. The, those are the shoulders. The, it's yeah. the the the, 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 the six the cylinder. cylinder. Yeah, yeah. Cylinder. and it's wearing a cowboy hat. It's, and got, it's got spurs. A, it's got a spur. It's got spurs, and it's it, got it a also star has like a, a mini gun for right. a wiener. So it's so like a firefighter hat. Too. <laughs> it's a cowboy oh, hat. Oh, cowboy hat. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I stand. I support it. Oh, he has a Gatling gun penis? Yeah. Oh, it does look like it's kind of folds out, doesn't it? That's awesome. The audio yeah. listeners are having a... You're missing out on, on G Gundam he and also all kinda, the different nationalities that G Gundam has. He also kind of looks like Steven Universe. Is this fan art? It's not be fan art. No, it looks that's, like that's straight up from the wiki, dude. Oh, okay. The Gundam well, wiki. Crazy. It must be true. So this was this was like the true American Gundam after... The Gundam Maxter, which I guess was destroyed or something, and then they made a new one. Probably that's my guess. You know what? I never liked. I never liked the fighting robot shows. Why? I don't know. I, like I, I can't. Jam, no, right? you would think so, but I just yeah. I, I thought it was too stupid. I like mean, they had the big O, and then they had Gundam. I, I love like all the dinosaur shit. one, especially the dinosaur one. Which Wait, one was which was the dinosaur one? The f- Isn't there like a giant, like a mechanical dinosaur, like like. Oh, Zoids? Zoids. Zoids. Oh, I was thinking Power Rangers. I don't know know anything about Zoids, Doesn't Power Rangers, aren't they giant? Those are Zords. Uh, Zords. (laughs) Wait, are you kidding? Are you messing with me? And then Scooby-Doo and Zoinks. These are all independently (laughs) developed. (laughs) Transformers. I didn't like Transformers. Ringer in my era. Ringer in my era. And I mean, Power Rangers itself, I mean, I I don't know if you, like, Power Rangers was, uh, is from a genre of show in Japan called Sentai. And they would That's use one letter away from yeah, the show I'm from, familiar with. Yeah. <laughs> and like Centaur? Wh- all of the no. footage. It's it's Centaur, right? Well, what is it then? <laughs> Wait, at the count of three, what if we all say what we think he's <laughs> Please do? I don't want to say it. <laughs> no, I don't know what I you're talking about, get. Daniel. <laughs> I'm gonna, let's please move on. Sure, yeah. So Okay. There's probably some kind of translation error. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> the, all all of the scenes in Power Rangers where they're fighting or where they're Zords, those yeah. are from the original Japanese show because you can't see what's you under the mask. And then the all system. of the footage where they're like teens with attitude, those are filmed separate. Okay. It saved a ton of production money because half of the episode was pre-filmed yeah. footage that they licensed from yeah. Japan. I mean, I loved that show when I was a kid. Apparently, my mom told me I was like obsessed with the Power Rangers. I love Power Rangers. But yeah. I think that was just because I like dinosaurs. And I, was, I also like Barney. I was I was into that makes Power Rangers. Sense. It makes a lot of sense. All the way Mech, through Mech like Power Rangers I, I didn't in like the, space. The kids. I like the fun. And then the 
continuity <laughs> bro. to eat the kids. Yeah. Th- this is the part where I think we just have different. No, it's not yet. Not well, yet. just oh, now okay. I was trying to listen to three different words at the same time again. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, oh God, what's going on? What did you watch growing up? What did I watch growing up? Yeah. My manners. Ooh. I was raised right, motherfucker. <laughs> was it that Sentai thing that you were talking about? <laughs> no. <Is> that- <laughs> No. You tell us more about the Sentai thing. <laughs> no. I, I, what did I, what can, we I get, can we get an episode of Sentai? <laughs> yeah. Up in here? Just put up. Just you can look up Sentai. You're just going to see Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> did you mean. Oh. Yeah, see? Okay. Yeah, just that looks normal. Body suits, plastic oh, helmets. Yeah, that's what I meant. Super Sentai. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that's an actual thing. Love yeah, that that's shit. That's cool. That's. I um I used to watch Rugrats. I loved Rugrats. Mm. I loved uh, oh, when Rugrats I was a kid. Kid Blues Clues was my jam. Mm-hmm. Um, Rugrats. What else? Why are know. you asking us? Lazy Town. I had a crush on. No, that was too old for that. There's Crazy Town. There's another one like that. I had a crush on Lizzie McGuire. Mm. Oh, the cartoon or the real one? The real one. <laughs> <laughs> she had a little cartoon version of herself. Yeah. Right? I don't know why you asked that. I, feel oh, like, I, you know, know, I just, just want to well, check. We're, we're just giving you anything in common, just, Daniel. Uh, we're talking about <laughs> Sentai over here. I just That's was true. curious. Yeah, that's right. You're still alone, yeah. Alan. There's no one else. <laughs> you know, he I asked did. everyone that question. <laughs> <laughs> cartoon <laughs> Lizzie McGuire is, uh, you trying know. Trying to think of a plural. Kim Poss- cute cartoon. Kim, Kim Possible. You know? It's like, it's like, uh, Kim it's like, you know, you know who I think, you know who I think is really cute? No. Commercials. <laughs> So you know what I think is really cute right now? It's like it's like I think Mary Kate and Ashley are like super hot twins. Oh, now or like when they were children? Now, <laughs> like now? Uh, no, now, right, right now. now. <laughs> yeah, actually, right now. Yeah. Ten years from now. Yeah. Ten years from now, also. <laughs> uh. You got it, dude. Um, so anyway, Chet, what's that podcast you listen to? In the car? Uh, oh, that guy. No, yeah. no, 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 don't go there. no. Okay. Wait, what podcast? Uh, I feel like all of us need another a control. translation error. We all yeah. need like a control button to just delete this episode at any time. It's like a delete, uh, delete it, keep it under the bed. Last like, week's was way worse. Okay, well, I'm excited to be here. I feel like my publicist in the future is going to do you know anything about prosthetics and movie industry. Oh, oh yeah. No, why? We were trying to figure out how euphoria? the prosthetic penises and euphoria work. Yeah. Oh. Did you read some people were talking about it in the comments? Did we get any experts willing to come on? Uh, well, <laughs> we got people that that uh had articles about the experts. Oh, okay. So we okay. do have a lead okay. into who they are now. We got the, the name studio. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That's good. I do know that hair and makeup is really hard working, like the nicest people on What about yeah. what about dong man dong mancers? Yeah. They put fake dongs on people. <laughs> what do they do with the real dongs when they put a fake dong on? I, well, they also who does it? Do they like? Do they make you do it or do they do it? I think I was involved in something where I needed a body double the that, centaur I'm, that I'm not allowed centaur? to talk about. But but uh, <laughs> they just had a completely different guy, oh. and so like when it was my coverage, there would be like a you know a towel wrapped around areas, uh, and okay. then and then when they showed. Some stuff that <laughs> did you film a porno? Th- no, <laughs> no, he was the body double for a porno dummy. I was not a body double. I had a body double, but what's? Did you? Could you choose? Yeah. From did one you? The did they have meter? a lineup where you get to point out which you know one what's you want? Really to- funny. Yes. <laughs> yes. No yes! way. Okay. Did you give me? Oh my god, that's exactly what we were talking about last time. So they give you some control so that you can. They, yeah, and I literally, literally yeah that one. The, the girl that I was um, dating at the time, I. I I had to show her this naked Wait, they band. actually give you pictures of naked dudes. Yes, but with consent. And you pick and there's, a, you, there's a process yeah. and stuff. And no, I don't, no, I, I, but I, yeah. But I, but I was yeah, like, sure. But but you got to pick the one you I want. I literally <laughs> sent, well, the kind of. But I, I showed a picture of this to the girl I was dating at the time. I was like, this kind of looks like me, right? And she goes, yeah. <laughs> Okay. And then she went, you have a bigger butt. And I was like, cool. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, that's good. Yeah. Like, Wait, your like, penis you have is a, way smaller than that Yeah. Yeah. Yours is an innie. Uh, this guy, <laughs> this guy's clearly an Audi. Um, Dude, it was just butts or was it wieners? No, just butt. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. Butts. Okay. Butt I mean, double. I wasn't looking at. Yeah. No, no, So no. they show the show butts, not the wiener. That makes sense. I mean, it was a okay. really good process. Um, it was all good. 
Okay. It okay. was all very professional. Yeah. yeah. Done and, yeah. And, and I like that you got to say okay. it. That's really funny. You, okay. Yeah. I mean, it was literally like, this seems right. You yeah. know? And what's funny too, is like the art department and production had to kind of go through like my old Instagram posts and find the one shirtless picture of me uh-huh. on there. And they go, okay, we need a guy who looks like that. And then they did it. They like found. Yeah. They found a guy who looked really jacked. And so, yeah. which is great. Cause I don't yes. have to keep it up anymore. He's like, yeah, that's fine. I'm it's okay like, I'm going to, I'm going to eat 30 cheeseburgers. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let this guy do the hard work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it never shows your face and your muscles at the same time. Wait, I, this is from men's health. This is from the euphoria thing. Yeah. This I looks like had a nice absolute penis. control over the penis because it was supposed to be mine. I approved it. I said, this looks like a nice penis. Let's use this That's kind of, yeah, that's kind of <laughs> what it is. Yeah. So I think we can pretty much conclude that every penis in Euphoria was bigger than their actual <laughs> <Yeah>. penis. <laughs> I'd be doing that. That looks like a nice one. I'd be doing that. I'd be, I'd be sitting on a throne. I'd be like, bigger! <laughs> throne. They're like, they're like, Daniel, they literally don't have a bigger, bigger! one. <laughs> like, Daniel, you're going to trip. On. You're going to trip when you walk bigger! around. It's done. It can't be done. Do you guys, do you, okay. I, I there's have, like, there's I a have bunch this... of people just mixing more silicone. <laughs> yeah. That's like their full-time job. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Saruman. get the widest yeah. lens you have. <laughs> um, do you do you? I I carry this knowledge with me because oh I'm a man. It's a burden. Okay. Do you guys know the name of the man with the largest penis on Earth? I for sure do, no. and I and I know the link. <sighs> okay, I think I know. I think I've seen this this Vice video, okay. but th- there's a catch to it, right? I don't it's know. It's got to be some disease. He's he's Mexican. Is that the catch? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm just making sure that we're talking about the right guy. Oh. No, <laughs> it's not. No, Did the catch is his Gundam has a catch for a right no, arm. Wait, there was the one where the kid had like the, no, it was oh, the, the elephant titus the Gatorade or something. Bottle that guy's got a disease. That guy's like okay. No, so I'm, you know the guy. No, I know who you're talking okay. about. But I, I, yeah. But I, my. Uh, do you it's know the real. name? I don't know. Do you know the name? No, I don't. His name is Jonah Falcon. I, okay. When I wow. when I looked it up, but this is back in the day when, when the McLaren F1 was the fastest car in the world. Wow. Okay. And, and this guy, Jonah there. Falcon, had a 13 and a half inch dangalang. Yeah. Okay. Wow. wow. That's with that's a name like good. that. Yeah. That's like that's average. Yeah. A couple <laughs> yeah. inches bigger yeah. than you know what we're all packing, right? Right. Just, just a couple. Yeah. Combined, maybe. Combined, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three, three, yeah. like three and a half. Yeah, feet. Yeah. Could you imagine having four dudes' penises for your penis? <laughs> Go into depth about that, will you? I'm just saying. What do you it's mean? Kind of like that? four dudes. Oh, I see. <laughs> I don't know. It was just a thought. That's kind of. I just sort of say. Things. Imagine being able to be with four women at the same time. Wait, no, that's like a parallel versus serial problem, isn't it? If it's yeah. Like a, it's like the guns <laughs> with multiple <laughs> barrels on them. They'd have to be separated. This is so similar to that episode of Silicon Valley where like they're all oh, talking yeah. about how to jerk off four dudes <laughs> oh, at the same yeah. time. I really like I'm just that sitting here episode, living the yeah. real life version of it. It's I like crazy. when they, they figure out they have to line them all up from, yeah. from not just like length, but also height. And you go from low to high. Yeah, yeah trigonometry. They were doing like yeah. the, <laughs> yeah. the different height variations. Apparently that was like a real, like they were, they were tackling real mathematics. Yeah, of course. Room. I yeah. definitely so know like, like a lot of people that I used to work with a hundred percent, you could, you could do that exact breakdown. And that's, <laughs> really? how yeah. that's yeah. so cool. It's like the most yeah. logical way to do like, it. Exa- like, yeah. Exactly. Like you'd like treat it like an actual problem you're trying to solve and coming up with like ways to optimize. Cause and- it was, it was like, they were like, Oh, like I don't like, this is never going to work unless maybe we jerk off everyone in the audience. Right. right? It's yeah. like a reception. And it's oh, like, okay, yeah, yeah. so let's think about this. <laughs> You're like, no, you like, no, they're not, no, they're not going to. No, they did. <laughs> they're doing it. They're going there. <laughs> Let's talk about this world's biggest wiener. Yeah, so, so what's, more about this 13 and a half inch long wang. Yeah, what what more is there to why say? Did we oh, that, that, was, that was the whole. I have a question. Would you be more embarrassed to show if you had a really small wiener? I don't know. What's a small wiener? Like a two inch wiener? Or if you had a 13 and a half inch wiener, what would be more like embarrassing? I would, would never wear pants if I had a 13 I would never, and a half yeah. inch wiener. I it would just be out there. There was a show when I was in London. There was a there was a a special that was on BBC, I think, about these guys who just had giant wieners. Mm-hmm. It was like it was like That's it was BBC? literally just I think so. I love Don't like how it, some people consider this a weird conversation, and someone made a whole TV show. But I no, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, really. And 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 uh, when I was out there, like I I watched it because it was like, where else are you going to get this kind of entertainment <laughs> right. other than Sentai? And so I, so I, <laughs> so I, 
So I mean, Super I, Sentai, I think you'd be able like, to tell because the pants are skin tight. But so these dudes no essentially said anything. that they were they were like limited to being like treated like meat and yeah. like mm. and like really it is, fetishized it's a burden. and uh, and really yeah. like and also like it showed a first date of somebody who has like a giant dick. Can you imagine and getting in the car and your wiener gets all twisted up in the brake pedal? I can't <laughs> imagine that. But but this guy had to like go on a first date and say to this woman, he's like, hey, just so you know. <laughs> And it was all on TV as well, right? So there's cameras there. He's like, he's like, hey, yeah, there's a film crew around, and and I think you're really great, and we had a really nice day together. But I gotta let you know, like, I have a fat cock. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, and she's like, and she's like, she's like, oh. And he's like, he's like, it's it's like, haha, but it's TV like really show worthy big. Talk. It's like really big and bad. And like we, it's a thing. She's like, this, like is this a prank show? But there's some, but there's some, know. you know, there's a lot of women out there who are like, who are anti that because if it's so much, if it's like a freaking Pringles can, like, <laughs> right, right. It, which which it is in this show, it's like that level of like. Do they give any like like analogies? Like, do they actually? No, they like, show you. I think no, oh, they do. Yeah, the, U, the UK is a different I've, animal. Yeah, have you seen the show where they have to like, like date based on like yes. the naked people, and they yes. start they start from the feet and they slowly it's a raise cool the show. curtain up and what's up. it called? I forget. It's like I forget. first impressions or something. Yeah. It's a show in the UK where where a curtain just slowly lo- raises. What? They're like, all right, by the ankles. I don't think <laughs> yeah. I like that guy. has got three legs. <laughs> oh, I get one there. And then, but it shows the whole frontal. <laughs> it it's does. Like, it's like, right, I'm gonna. And then you have to eliminate them every every Naked round. It's like, oh, I don't think yes. I. Yeah. What's yeah. it called? Naked attraction. What? Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Wait, is it censored or anything? No. Nope. No, it's not. They show you. They like, show you all of it. This is BBC? Oh, the image. The UK is wild. Oh, it's ah. Uh, yeah, the UK is wild. Man. Wow. Whoa. They, they don't. They don't they have don't guns, care. so they, they get vices in other ways. Wow. That's yeah. Um, it's real. Oh, it's on Max now. Look, they don't even show That's it amazing. on YouTube. What? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. That's crazy. This has to be the British version. I I couldn't even imagine pitching something like. Oh, well, they like, they got a guy with a prosthetic leg as like a, a twist. Like, oh uh-huh. wow, you can see he's got a prosthetic <laughs> leg as the curtain comes. It would be off. better if yeah. he had a prosthetic arm though. <laughs> God, it's kind of just then, no longer reveal. Yeah, yeah, you know, sort of a like prosthetic head. Just porn. What would you guys? Us. What would you guys? If you lost an arm, what would you replace it with? What would be the most useful thing for you? Chainsaw. Chainsaw. I had this idea. I don't know if I can do it. Or I think I started, I was trying to find somebody that was actually like missing part of their arm. Right, I love right. where this and is going. And then tap into the the muscles with like, okay. uh, it's like myoelectric sensor yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then when they flex, it activates a so chainsaw. Like, so they that's can cool. have oh. a chainsaw hand. Yeah. That's so that cool. way they can, you know, end up with, with no hands <laughs> or legs. What? Sick of having yeah. one arm. It's like playing a game of catch is never the yeah. same. They're, they're never going to get any uh, any knee residuals ever keep, again. No. You just keep ending up with more ball halves every yeah. time. Well, that was like uh uh I, I want well I this is not this is not a real video idea. You couldn't it wouldn't make any sense, but the idea would be to ha- like the challenge is you have to build yourself two prosthetic arms using only your feet to practice for if you ever lose both your arms so that you know you'd be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> We should we should have the um Ian Ian what's his name the guy the prosthetic hand guy oh the machinist a, Ian something oh wait is he the one that has those the, the thumbnails are always like a cool looking yeah. like metal hand I prosthetic sent someone I have him on who's Instagram who's at open sauce that'd be cool uh, his where's our staff server oh my god where was that. <laughs> General he's cool agency. he made a hand using only one hand <laughs> but has he he's, ever made a hand using his feet <laughs> i don't i don't know you need one of those olympic archers to do something like that oh. like you know the people that can shoot a bow and arrow with only their feet ian davis that's cool yeah yeah it's like the mechanical hand i wonder how many people out there have had an arm and a leg amputated mm. and then have been around someone else saying something like, man, I'd give an arm and a leg for that. <laughs> and then just like slowly pans over that guy. <laughs> like, I wonder how many situations that has occurred in life. I feel I, like it would be funny until they started like looking in you in the eye and saying that. <laughs> Then it'd be like, I don't like this anymore. Oh, it cost me an arm and a leg. Yeah. I'd, give, I'd trade an arm and a leg for that hamburger. <laughs> you know like, what? what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I bet like, they make that joke more than anybody else, though. <laughs> you know, you got to beat them to the punch, right? right. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. I would, would you? Do, I would do some badass Full Metal Alchemist cosplay. 
Would you rather the arm and leg be the same side or opposite sides? I think opposite. If you were opposite to lose. sides. Because then you have more symmetry. Yeah, I think, right. it, I think you, would be, you would mm. be more on balance as well. I think you would be sort of a little screwed if you had one half missing. That's interesting. Because I, th- I, I think you could you could balance more easily. Because it's like, you know, you use your arms and legs to kind oh, of Oh, yeah, like, like as a counterweight. Kind yeah, of. exactly. Yeah, and you can kind of control how far out it is. So if you were on both sides, I think you would be much less mobile. Do you think there's anything to the idea of like uh like making really advanced prosthetics, but like not because you want to help anyone, but just because you want a bunch of extra arms? Yeah, yeah like Doctor Ock. Yeah, Doc yeah. Ock. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like straight up Doc Ock from Spider Man. Doc Ock cock. <laughs> <laughs> See, now we're getting somewhere. Uh huh. The jo- <laughs> yeah. Nobody cares about his personality. Jonah he's Falcon's he's got nothing on me. Down to Thirteen times four. <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad he just has like four little tiny arms coming off his back <laughs> yeah just really veiny <laughs> I don't know really veiny tube arms that's so like gross reminds me of like him on that dating show <laughs> yeah can you yeah, imagine everyone's gonna regret saying no before God <laughs> Wait, how does the show work? They say they like kick them out. Like it's just a dating thing. Or well, no? it's like it's like a process of elimination. By the end, you go. Is oh, see, so like if they want to date, you with? kick them out. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. It's just kind of like, well, you think about the the toenails and this this yeah. one. And it's like mm. it's like, well, you know, normally I go for a girl who mm. <laughs> who kind of more uncapped. I like yeah, the I, like, toes. I like trench foot now. Yeah. And she and has then, the flat foot. I, I, not, got, yeah, it's like she so, looked like that. She got that foot flavor. Yeah, yeah. Normally, I like to suck on toes. toes. Even, <laughs> you know, wolf it if I can wolf it from over here. Uh, it's like, it's like that's a good oh, show. No. Yeah. Um, People want to watch the train wrecks. So. Yeah, it's a good show. It's a fun show. Uh, I, I think I would try. I don't think I've got anything going for me, like body <laughs> bottom up wise. So I think my strategy, if I had to do that, would be kind of like. Um, like uh, Arabian Nights was like the thousand ones. Like I would write a really interesting like single sentence story that goes up my body, so you'd have to reveal the whole body to read it. Jeez. Otherwise, you'd be on a cliff. It's like yeah. once upon yeah. a time, and it's just I, henna or something, right? I yeah. think that would yeah. actually work. Undoable. I think that might actually work. Wait, I think that's, is that why people get tattoos? You don't have you have any tattoos? No. Okay, then I you can make you I have a, a short story <laughs> printed from bottom up that you have to continually go naked upwards. You're to playing read. 40 chess, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> you were playing 4D what chess. You, how would you like? What would you do? Is a story? For him, it, it, would be or... the, it would be the plot of the first episode of Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> it would be. Don't, like, it would don't be play the, basketball with a Mormon or be, go on a date with Alan. Oh my God. <laughs> I get maybe it'd be like a manga, like or a comic book, like the panels, kind like of a get graphic revealed. novel. Yeah, but like upwards. See, up that's the more tattoo esque. That's cool. So right. it's not like a courier new font. It's like an actual graphic. Maybe. I'll say what about like yeah. a, your credit card number or something. <laughs> did we just like? Did we just reinvent like hieroglyphs? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think those are read from bottom to top, right? It's like the story. Of like, like an like, Amazon gift card, maybe. Like yeah. So you have to see the whole code that's in cool. order to to actually. It's like a thousand dollars on Amazon, but you have to pick me on this dating show. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, they'll just cover it in black ink after the show's done. Yeah. You know, the worst part would be someone eliminating you immediately as soon as you told them like what the rest of it was like. Oh, that's an interesting tattoo you have in your foot. What is that? Like, oh, well, let me let me tell you all about. It. Like, all right, no, no, I I don't. That's weird. <laughs> you just spend the rest of your life walking around with an Amazon. It's a one-time <laughs> gift card. You know what would be funny? If you got an Amazon gift card tattooed on your arm, how long would it take to get redeemed? <laughs> and you never told anybody? You never, don't tell anybody yeah. what it is. I, I don't think it would be long. I think it would be like really, really quick. If you're a person on the internet, it'd be immediately. Yeah. But if you're like your average Joe in like Alaska or something, I don't, I think you'd go your whole life and no one would know. Hmm. Unless somebody took a picture of it and then was like, what is this? And then just typed it. Oh in. yeah. I don't know. Are you if thinking about doing it? What's going on over here? A oh, frame of yeah. one video. Yeah. Like yeah. one frame in a like video. Like what we've done just now. And it's just yeah. flashed on screen just now. Is it yeah. a real code? There's an not? Amazon Only gift card to code hidden somewhere in this video. <laughs> <laughs> For 50 cents of Amazon credit, you just have to find the one frame in this video that has the code. Do you know what happened last episode? I was typing in my password on my phone and somebody like analyzed it. 
and and they they messaged me on Discord. They messaged all my moderators. Like, oh, I have like a, your unlock screen. They yeah. actually figured out your unlock screen. From, <laughs> well, it was completely it was completely wrong. wrong. <laughs> it's like maybe <laughs> it's the numbers. That's even better. They were maybe analyzing mirrored. his fingers moving. Yeah, like, like the phones tipped towards him. <laughs> yeah, and they were like watching the podcast. Seeing how his fingers were moving and trying to figure out what the <laughs> yeah. password was. So the only thing wrong. they got right was the upswipe to, to start <laughs> typing in the password, and they knew how many numbers it was. It was six numbers. I love, I love that. Like, like this guy had his <laughs> yeah. like he had like the, like the Sherlock Holmes like hyper focus moment where he's like breaking yep. down everything, but it's all completely yeah. wrong. <laughs> the, bra- yeah. the brain blast. Yeah. It's like and then I do this, and I do this, and then I do this. Like one neuron. <laughs> <laughs> he like lays out his whole plan, yeah. <laughs> and then he takes a step on the string and hit my butt. <laughs> That, that shout out to that guy <laughs> i'm sure he's watching right now yeah well, well just just is. know guy that you are like a really funny sherlock holmes <laughs> i think i'd rather watch that episode than yeah. an actual sherlock holmes. yeah yeah i'd love to see a sherlock holmes where he's very confident but he's completely wrong every time <laughs> i'm sure that's on its way <laughs> sherlock gnomes too <laughs> Sherlock, Sherlock Sentai. Sherlock Sentai. I mean, at this point, I feel like they're running out of themes. They could probably do like a Detective Sentai, where it's like they all have cloaks cool. or what do they call the hats that that like the the stereotypical Sherlock mm. Holmes wears, the hunter cap or whatever. This one easier. Yeah. something like that. Yes, right. It's like edge. them, but all Power Rangers. I would watch that. I feel like it'd be fun to make a a really like unhinged show. Yeah, there there was a, there a Japanese right. version of Columbo, but it wasn't like a remake or an adaptation. It was a just the story was about a Japanese guy who was really into Columbo. And so he dressed like him and had his mannerisms and he solved crimes. And that hmm. was a whole show in Japan. You know, Columbo, the old detective show. I don't know what that is. So so imagine just us like, finally stealing a show or Japan finally yeah, stealing a show from the us. Other way around. Yeah. <laughs> what was the idea? What idea? What was the idea? We talked about something. Was, oh, oh, yeah. Um, Everybody say it on three. <laughs> uh, typing, like having your, your pin. Those two characters that shouldn't be. What? Was... Like show characters? Yeah, it was like two, you know, like Rick and Morty. Is yeah. like oh, Rick and oh Mickey, uh, uh, Mario. Mario oh, it's and Mario Link. and Link. Yeah. <laughs> like a show. The characters are Mario and Link, this but is... like they like. <laughs> Now that I'm thinking about that, <laughs> what was, how late was it? Dude, it was pretty late. <laughs> what? What we, is this we about? We were actually we were we were uh, chasing some of that co- pie too. So, oh, oh shit! I didn't do you have anywhere to be? <laughs> or or, yes. or also or also, do you want <laughs> to I've, leave? I've got yeah. scripts to write, but uh, but this is okay. We're, we we can do another five. Mario and Lonk. Mario and Lonk. Mario. I like that. And Lonk. Yeah, and it's like just loosely themed. But it has nothing to do with it. <laughs> what, so it's like a plumber and a, a sword yeah. guy? Yeah. Yeah. And it, yeah. And it doesn't make any sense. Like a blacksmith? Something like that. Yeah. And it's it's like kind of like smells like it's like LaCroix. You, you're describing Italian Spider-Man. Yeah. You ever seen Italian Spider-Man? No. no. Uh, can we look up a clip of Italian Spider-Man? How do you find this shit? <laughs> Find so, it on Sentai.com. <laughs> Instead of spider webs, is it pasta? Well, just just know that it's like this is not Instead like Instead of a, web balls, a, is it's it not meatballs? a legit official Spider Man. Oh, one, that thing under there? Yeah, yeah. Italian Spider Man full I mean, you could probably show any section of that and get the idea. It's not actually Italian. It's not actually old, but it's like filmed as if it is. And it's just Oh, this logo. I feel it's, like it's, it's just Italian Spider Man, but he has like a lot of. Oh no! This is already First of bad. all, it looks Dude. like Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a lot. Oh, this looks like a college movie. Can I ask you guys a question? <laughs> yeah. Why does every villain have an eye patch? <laughs> do they all get like? Bad. Do they all get flicked in the eye by like a <laughs> flying <laughs> rock or something? <laughs> is there like? Why is eye patch? Lost their evil? eye, and the healthcare system was so bad it sent them off the rails. That's that pretty ableist, right? I mean, it's pretty like, hey oh, man. That's classic James Bond though, is to be ableist. It's like the yeah. bad guy always has like a deformity or whatever. Yeah, I yeah. Guess and so. then the vulnerable women. And then like just they're mad at society, and so they just start killing people. I mean, that's even Shakespeare too, right? Which one's Spider Man? Oh, it was the guy dressed in red. It was the guy, the guy you said looked like Zorro. He had a horrible this, breadstick accident at, at, oh, uh, at, at Olive Garden. Is that's that a, a meme, right? I want to watch that. It's gotta be. 
Oh, no I, way. <laughs> oh, I want to see so this. Italian this spider. I'm pretty Why does sure that look like Keanu he Reeves? can. I think he can control like sharks, and I think he has like a shotgun. It's like and that's sort of his powers. Yeah, so that's Italian Spider Man. <laughs> And I think he's just bedded all of these women at once, because there's like there's like six legs. of them. Yeah, yeah. And so I, he just you know he fights crime. He's this Italian like Spider-Man. Why does this look like Jack Black? It's not Black. a porno. He does look like Jack Black. Mm. Mm. Jack Black would play this character too today. Yeah. He pulls a chick out of this. Thing. This isn't real. <laughs> this isn't real. No, We're no, it's not. It. It's not real, but it. <laughs> That zoom in is amazing. At no does, point have they. This is a this is a, a forty minute movie. <laughs> is this like a this is like a old YouTube? This should, it is years, an old YouTube. It's eleven, it's 11 years, years ago. Oh, it yeah. actually is a YouTube video. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not. Sense. It's not like actually Italian Spider Man. Okay. Oh, I've seen that meme. <laughs> I've seen that meme. Yeah. Okay. But it's also like it's Italian Spider Man. This shouldn't have gone on for more than three minutes. <laughs> well, this, this, this old YouTube, I guess. That's, so it is like kind of a college thing. So the idea is like you know like Mario and Long or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It would, it's like it's like this where it's like just Spooter, kind of Spooter Man. Close like, enough. Imagine it's like two kids and like one of them is like a, as an apprentice for a plumber and the other kid just like soars a lot. <laughs> So you look at the trailer, three minutes. It has seven million views. The actual movie only has one. <laughs> oh, gosh. The idea is a really good idea when it's three minutes long. See? So he's just, you know, he's just Italian. Oh, there's Green Goblin. God, what I will like say is I'm going to watch it. <laughs> yeah. It's like a premiere preset. I'm going to eat a slice of that pumpkin pie yeah. and watch this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would never come back. I would just, I would just live in that world. Like my psyche would be gone. <laughs> Is there other different Spider Mans like Japanese Spider Man? Yeah, but that's the only one that's like not a legit Tequila that, Japanese, Spider Man. Japanese yeah, yeah, Spider Man yeah, yeah. is <laughs> real. That that one uh, Mexican cactus Spider Man. Japanese Spider Man is cool because he had a giant robot. He had like a Zord. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, isn't that in the multiverse one with like the little girl who that's controls different. the robot? That's um, different. So I'm pretty sure Penny Parker does oh have gosh. a comic version, but they did like an entirely different version for the Into the Spider Verse movie. I look Japanese so tan. Japanese Spider Man. Look at that. Uh, is an emissary <laughs> from hell, and he has a giant. Fight. Oh yeah, you can see in that thumbnail down there. That's his robot. That's really cool. Japanese Spider Man has that robot, and it's a uh, uh, like a panther, I think. It's like, so you see he's got the web shooter and he transforms. Um, <laughs> His eyes are kind of messed up. <laughs> well, because it's a real suit, you know? It's like they didn't, have, they didn't know about the face shells, I think, back then, maybe. <laughs> It just stretched out. He just looks like some Oh, and there's... Oh, yeah, let's see. So he's got that flying transforming robot, right? So the, the bad guy's too oh, big. Jesus Christ. He's flinging him around. He just thwacked there, him. Leo Parton. That's his robot. So it's a transforming like leopard robot. Why is it always robots with the Japanese it's cool. stuff? Dude, his mouth looks like a butthole. <laughs> That's this is terrific. So this is Japanese. This one's real. This is actually Japanese Spider-Man. That's great. Yeah. This should have been the sandwich commercial. <laughs> oh yeah, it should have been. <laughs> uh, well, we didn't even use our stopwatch this time. Like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we really we really kept going this time. It took a long time. Good potato. Hi, baby. Hi, potato. Hi, potato. Hi, potato. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> well, anything you want to promote, Daniel? Or anything you, you've been working on? Anything, any requests? Any sentai that you recommend to I know I accidentally said listeners? something once, so I can't say that again. <laughs> no, it's okay. I've got a lot of stuff in the can that'll be interesting. Uh, but you can't talk about some of it? Yeah, uh, some of it I'm not allowed to talk about. Um... Well, what, is there anything what that you are you allowed to talk you, about? You, hey, uh, I might have a Patreon out by the time y'all see this. So look when at are you that. Putting the Patreon because there's going to be a lot of cool stuff. We're, We're going to save this one for are the Kwanzaa we special. This is going to be December 26th, just in time for Kwanzaa. <laughs> when does this come out? Next week. Mm, oh. Next week. I'm working on some next really week. cool stuff. But yeah, check out my YouTube channel, Daniel Thrasher. Links can, somewhere. Can you say anything about the go, going on the other... No. Okay. Wow. So just the fact that you <laughs> said that. Mute, just mute it. Don't cut that. it. Just mute it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't say that. Sag after strong, baby. <laughs> oh, that's uh, right. Uh, yeah. Are you but, gonna get in trouble for talking about Lonk and Mario? <laughs> no, that should be fine. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think um yeah I, I yeah yeah I'm I'm gonna be doing a lot of really weird interesting new stuff on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, check it out. 
That's about it. Yeah. Go watch Daniel. Go watch the ads. It's going to be very interesting. Click on the ads. Click on the yeah. ads. Yeah. Buy, buy the stuff that you see. No, you, you don't have to do that. that. Just buy. You just have to click the <laughs> ads. What do you sell? <laughs> I, I'm i actually about to start selling some cool stuff like ringtones and sheet music oh, and fun right. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oh. yeah, there's going to be a... Uh, this one's really exciting, and I, I'm not really announcing it, but maybe I am. But uh, for those of you who know who I am, I do micro songs and I make make up songs on the spot. And so I want to do a musical joke book. So essentially, like it's like 101 mini songs that just memorize any random 20 of them, and you'll be the life of the party. Okay, mm. like a coffee table book kind of thing. Exactly. Mm. So nice. That's that's coming. One of these nice, things. Nice. What is it? Thanks. Are for there pictures in it? No, we don't do those. Ugh. Oh, wow. In music. What about for people who can't read, like us? Oh, we have Braille. Well, we can't read anything. <laughs> I just like pictures. We just have. We just send over a loud guy who screams in your <laughs> ear, like, oh! Master! <laughs> G major! <laughs> yeah, can you say one of the songs? Can you make up no. a, a song about Kwanzaa? <laughs> can I, can I say what? Yeah, make up a song about Kwanzaa? No. That's... <laughs> <laughs> 